All right. So, apparently the last two instructional videos of Pokemon Go Necrobot didn't exactly record anything thanks to my wonderful recording software of Fraps. Works pretty good for an in-game recording, but doesn't do apparently jack crap for desktop. So here I am with my iPhone, shaky as hell, recording this stuff, trying to put together an actual instructional video to Necrobot. It is a botting program for Pokemon Go, and it will spoof your location wherever you want it to put you at. You can be in France, you can be in Disney World, anywhere you want to be. So I'm going to show you how to install this. I just explained what ne Necrobot is. You get it from necrobot.net. This is their website. And you go up to the top corner, downloads. It'll take you to another screen, which is GitHub. There's the latest release right there underneath code that puts you in. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you get the downloads page, which has the newest release. It's called release.zip. You're going to click on that. It's going to put a little file down there. And that's your zip file. You open it up, click on extract, extract it wherever you want it. All right. When you do that, you're going to have something like, well, wait, that's the wrong one. Something like this. It may not have the configuration files completely in there. That's because you need to run the Necrobot program first. It will run for about three seconds. And after three seconds, you'll get a flash on that uh, command prompt screen that says, put your username and password in. Which, by the way, I'm doing this for Google users. You can probably do it the same way, just with the other information in its appropriate place. But I'm not going over it. You can probably figure that out. So, how do you configure it? Right there where the mouse is, it says config. And you got authorization and configure files for the JSON files. You want to go to authorization. And they have changed these up since the last build. Authorization type, Google. That's what we're using. Google password, this is obviously a fake password. I would never put my own stuff in there. I put in fake password. And when you put in your required information, whatever you do, make sure that you have quotations at the front and the back. And what I do is I highlight, sometimes it works, I highlight the whole word null to where it does not include the comma, and I'll put in my information that way, that way if I, you just don't want to put an extra space or anything like that, so you don't want to do this because it will ruin the lines of command. So I just do the highlight and uh, put your information in manually like that. Then you put in your username right there. The refresh token I would not mess with. I never had to mess with it and it works. The PTC is called Pokemon Trading Cards I believe. That's also a different website if you happen to have that uh, information that you use. After you do that, you want to save it naturally. Close it out. 
go to your configuration file. This is a little bit of a fun part and a lot of people actually don't know how to do this. Where do you want to go to bot this thing? Well right now it's set to Disney World and those are the coordinates latitude and longitude. How to find those coordinates? I went on to Google Maps and I'll give you a small demo of it. When you zoom in in an area it has your longitude followed by a comma then your latitude followed by a comma. The first number gets put in the first box, the second number, uh, sorry, first set of numbers get put in the first box and the second set of number gets put in the other one. So now you know how to get your longitude and latitude numbers as well. <sighs> Alright. Where was I? Right. And of course you can make small modifications such as how much incense to keep, how much, uh, how many pokeballs to keep, and so on. All the way down at the bottom it's got other information which I have not really got to play with yet. This one in particular always catches my eyes. It's actually set to false, but I'm going to try it and set to true what I'm thinking that happens what happens with that is uh, I'm thinking it refreshes locations of Pokemon Nest that doesn't hold water so take it with a grain of salt anyhow you're gonna save it after you put your coordinated files in there coordinate files in there and then you're gonna run it And knock on wood, it should work for you. If it doesn't, just repeat your, re put in your information of the username and password. Usually that hits. Sometimes you have to wait a little bit, but it's been pretty correct for me right now. And this build is of 7:30, 2016. It's a very fresh build, so it's the newest one there is at this moment. I hope this helps you, and really sorry for the quality, apparently, of this recording. Like I said, Fraps would not let me record, so here I am with an iPhone doing it. Please like, subscribe, comment, keep your comments people friendly. And uh, one other disclaimer, there are other videos on my web on my YouTube but they are of age appropriate material so if you click on it you damn sure better be the right age because that's the law anyhow I hope this helps out someone and like subscribe it will really help me in trying to get some better recording equipment so you don't have to deal with shaky, shaky, shaky shit. And I'll catch you on the next video. Y'all take care and have fun with the program. Before I go, this is an excellent program if you happen to have a kid that wants to play this game that's in a hospital. Simply because he cannot walk around, this program will walk around for him then he can use the Pokemon and play and do all that stuff. Alright, I'm going. Later.